Hey guys, it's been a few years since I last made a video. Okay, so please bear with me because I'm, I've got palm cards for this one. So what have I been doing for the last three years? Well, well I've kept myself busy working. That's pretty much it, working and studying and doing my own thing. Now, right, the reason I'm making this video is because of the media influenced rerun of actor groups, actor groups as in, uh, I don't know, all the groups running around at the moment. Uh, so what I want to make this video for is to distance my workplace from any previous developments uh, from the execution of my employment up until now, which has been three years. So anything prior to that, my workplace has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Um, it's a big company. There are a lot of people who depend on their work to take them in home. So, simple as that. That is why I'm making this video. Now, where do I stand? Well, I'd like to make a few things clear. It's 100% true I made a few videos the other year. 110%. Uh, some social experiments. Uh, some very uh, out there. But none of them were hostile. None of them were racist. None of them were uh, violent in any form. None of them were illegal. Um, it's also 100% true I challenged Islam fundamentally and philosophically. And like any ideology, uh, people have a right to do so. And it is also true I poked a bit of fun. I'm not going to get anyone there. But again, I didn't do anything illegal, hostile, violent or racist. And I will say again... It is not true in any way that I spoke racism, am racist, condone racism, uh, or any form of discrimination. I am simply just a proud Aussie, like any like any other Aussie. Uh, no better than the next bloke next to me. Now, what you may not have been told is how my participation came about. All right, I was contacted by a local contact uh, who's best mate as a copper who introduced me to RAF now they didn't tell you that on the TV news did they uh, my job from the get-go was as was advised to me was to, it was to uh, excite extremists which I did and nonetheless to protect Muslims which I also did And if you want to know more about that, please go to my Facebook and have a little sticky beak. Now let me highlight racism again. My old man's uncle was responsible for Malta, their, their air defence in World War II, which saw the Italian Aeronautica and the German Luftwaffe destroyed. Uh, so that was... Uh, my uncle was partially responsible for the Nazi and Axis surrender. Partially responsible, or no way responsible, but he was the commander of all the batteries on the island. Uh, and uh, on the flip side, I've got children, uh, they're overseas, and they're half German. I, love, I actually love everything German, I do. Now, as I've always said, Australia has a bright future with cooperation from all walks of life. And the culmination of that cooperation is just being a law-abiding Australian and respecting everybody else and their independence and their right to believe whatever they believe without intimidation. And that's pretty much it. Now, I'll give you a challenge. Find me one video me doing anything remotely racist, not foolish, I, 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 I can see that I've done a few funny things, but um, racism, which is a big word, find me one video and I'll, I'll send you personally a nude with me holding a pineapple. Now I should also note, in the short space of time I operated in the ADL, so much benefited the Muslim community. They no longer have bad names among them. There's no longer much reason at all 
for there to be a negative spotlight on them. And uh, the extremists left, very few from what I know. Uh, my advice to those who are left, the extremists, is just change your hatred. No one's, no one's forcing you to believe something different, but by God you will be forced not to have a, such a hostile position against Australians where violence and intimidation is concerned. That's religiously motivated. What do I think about all the demonstrations on again? Uh, I think there are legitimate supporters there who believe in what they're supporting, oh, but for the most part, what people aren't aware of is that most of them are actors. Trust me, I know. Actors employed by the media. Now, hug a Muslim today. Yeah, speak to one, call them up. That's that's my advice, it's just like anybody else. Um, extremists of whatever kind, you know, to be quite honest, I think we've got more to worry about from our banks and state government. The way they're handling the infrastructure is pretty fucking extreme. Um, yeah, and just be proud to be Australian. Now, the million dollar question. What is my background? What did I do before? Um, well, in 2007, I finished my HSC. Uh, and from about 2000 to 2014, uh, it's no one's fucking business. Now, the, now the fun part. My ancestry, uh, which is a funny thing because racism has a lot to do with this. Um, I'm third generation Maltese. Um, th yeah, third generation Maltese. I can speak Maltese, uh, not fluently, but I can speak it. Uh, I don't talk it because English is my mother tongue. Uh, I've been to Malta twice. It's a fucking beautiful country. And I took my mother's surname. Her surname is actually Spanish. And down the track, we've got a mix of French, English, Italian, and German. And a great-grandmother from South Africa. Now, my dad's side. My long-lost father. Um, he's got Irish, Scottish, English, and Italian in him. Um, and there's also some other Australian mixture in there. Uh, but yeah, he's seventh generation. I've done my own research and all sorts of stuff. Um, if I'm racist, I must be a fucking idiot. Uh, that's all I've got to say.